Hey Leo, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here for March. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, keep in mind, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone out there. And uh, we will get right into it and see what's coming in here for Leo in the month of March. We have the Two of Cups being your first card out. Nice. Other, a few other signs I did already was all about finances, but let's see what's... Uh, what we got going on for you? The Devil. Capricorn energy here. Two of Cups, the Devil. Let's see. Could just be dealing with the Capricorn. We're going to have to clarify. Uh, we do have the Hierophant. So there could be possible commitment here for you guys. Taurus energy. The Six of Wands. Whatever. This is your energy. Whatever it is, um, a lot of... Uh, you know, you're going to be very happy about this, okay? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom there. Let's see. Could be partnering up with somebody. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Could be an investing into a situation. Because Two of Cups could just be, see, Nine of Pentacles as well. So, again, it's kind of going into the money situation like the other signs. But um, Two of Cups could be a partnership. Uh, the Devil... It's about materialistic things as well, money, um, the higher font, contracts, signing a contract, um, pairing up with somebody, starting something new, six of wands, very nice energy, you know, feeling recognized, um, uh, feeling very, you know, you feel, you know, like you succeeded into something here, uh, knight of pentacles investing into something, and money's, whatever it is, you know, money's starting to follow you now, you're kind of walking away. And things, opportunities are coming towards you. Nine of Pentacles, this is being very independent financially. Um, so let's see. Wow, that's a nice, nice start to the read here. We'll see, you know, for some of you guys, it could be a connection too. Two of Cups, the Devil, uh, the Hierophant could be a connection with the Capricorn. Um, but, you know, or an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's see. The Two of Swords, interesting. So Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's here is confused or unsure which direction they want to go towards. The Moon, there's something's not, um, you know, it's not clear for them. I don't know who this is here. We're going to have to find this. Could be you or your person or someone that you're um, talking to here. But the Moon's about illusions. And not seeing things so clearly. We've got the Two of Swords and the Moon here. Um, if you guys are getting into a new business or something like that, or a partnership, uh, romantic or even for work, um, I would really look into that. All right, Leo? Um, really look into that contract. Really read the fine print. Um, it may not be... Something's coming to you where it's just too good to be true. That's That's what I'm feeling. I feel like it's too good to be true, and, and if you don't see or you don't read between the lines, I feel like it's going to put you in a different, uh, yeah, see, the Four of Swords. It's going to put you into this energy of, um, oh, maybe not. Well, there is a tower, though, so let's see. Um, let's get some clarifiers. We're going to need that. I want to look at this Two of Swords and the Moon. The Two of Swords and the Moon. So what do we got for Two of Swords for Leo here? Because your, your outcome is an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles, this is... Um, and, and with the Emperor there, it might be just you understanding your value and what you're worth. And, uh, you know, with Ace of Pentacles, it's like new opportunity to start something new here. Um, I do feel like in the month of March, you are having opportunities come towards you. Um, but I just feel like there's an issue or something comes up to where something is too good to be true. And I feel like you, you still kind of get out of that, but we need to see what this is all about, though. Two of Swords is a Seven of Swords. So there is some sort of um, sneaky behavior going on here, okay? Could be with an air sign, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. A lot of swords. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be, but I feel like there's a situation where someone is not telling you everything. Um, like I was saying earlier about, like, reading the contracts, something like that. Just kind of be aware be aware of that. But the higher font tells me there's something, there's, there's a contract, okay? Um, clarify the moon. We have the devil. All right, so the devil does come out twice. So maybe somebody is trying to take a leap of faith or you're trying to take a leap of faith. And 
I feel like they come towards you and it's kind of like, wow, you know, I didn't expect that. Um, you know, and I feel like that there's going to be a confusion here to where either you or this person, um, you really can, the four of swords is about taking some time out resting. Uh, but I think that, um, you, you kind of get in this energy of understanding who you are, the emperor and, um, and kind of getting back into that. But because again, it's, it's like this offer, I feel like this, it's somebody that you've always wanted, or it's someone that comes towards you where you, you, it's, it's like an illusion, the moon. It's like, it's, it's, it's not a, um, a serious offer. It's just really, I don't know how to say that. It's just kind of like, um, trying to take advantage of you in some, some way, somehow. Let me get one more card on the devil here. Because the devil is twice. Well, let me clarify the devil up there. Could be someone that is trying to tie you down off a situation. The magician. Yeah, someone's manifesting to tie you down to, so you don't move forward. Does that make sense? I think they see that you you're becoming more independent we had the nine of pentacles or the nine of yeah the nine of pentacles on the other deck earlier on the bottom and then now this is on the bottom nine of pentacles on this deck and you have the knight of pentacles here because i think someone sees a lot of opportunity and finances coming towards you now you're feeling good and i feel like there's someone here that sees that wants to come in with some sort of sneaky offer so be aware of that um it's not going to be for everyone but that's kind of what i do see okay but i do see you financially being good um let's see what you know the tower was at the bottom of the deck here let's see let me just get a card on the side here for that um for the tower because i feel like maybe you learn a lesson from this situation or you just kind of have this like light bulb moment here yeah see eight of eight of wands this is sagittarius energy communication um page of cups there's something coming in for you um and then it's just the three the five of cups so it's like not really seeing the cups behind you. Um, so again, there's someone coming in with an offer, page of cups, um, you know, communication or just fast changes, someone coming in pretty quick that causes some sort of tire moment, catches you off guard, but it's a very sneaky energy. It's really just trying to uh, maybe even look at, um, in the five of um, wands, look at how much money you have. It's like, it's an energy of just trying to take advantage of you. That's really what it is. All right. So anyway, I'll, I'll get away from that. I feel like that you're going to, you're going to sniff that out pretty good anyway. So you really can't can't do that to a Leo. All right, let's see what this Two of Cups is. Four of Pentacles. Uh, let's see. It could be, for some of you guys, I mean, there's a situation here that is sneaky, but there's possibly a new connection to water energy. Also six of six of Wands there. Okay, so... For some of you guys, you might have a energy that's very sneaky and another energy that might be a nice situation for you. Wow. Okay. Then you have your energy, the King of Wands, so the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands. Someone might be coming in here with a lot of emotions for you. Um, and uh, let me get one more card on that. Just to be sure, because we had two devils here. So death and rebirth something new okay so you do have a new emperor twice now so there's a new connection coming in that you don't even know all right leo uh you don't know this person they're not they're just coming in and it could be that energy here eight of wands page of cups too but um but maybe that is something that changes you know tower is also about changing things into something better for yourself anyway right so it doesn't necessarily have to be bad it's just something that comes in you get a tower moment and then things change in, and then boom, you know, you're you're into your Ace of Pentacles and starting something new with someone. Uh, but whatever it is, this new person's a new connection that's going to be nice for you. Uh, it could lead to long-term commitment. Either way, uh, you have victory twice, six of wands twice. I mean, so you're feeling really good. Okay, so whatever it is, it's towards the end of the mar end of the month here in March. Um, you're feeling nice here. Let's see what this Four of Swords is all about. The Two of Cups, yeah, so Two of Cups, you have the Four of Cups and the Fool. So somebody here has their, I mean, it's like they have a their eye on you here or just maybe yeah, looking at things at a different perspective. So it could be a Pisces energy here, but somebody is looking at you or admiring you from afar. Like I said, you have not communicated with this person yet. 
um, whatever it is, I feel like you're focusing on you, you're focusing on making things happen, um, maybe even dealing with the toxic situation, uh, or still, or maybe currently dealing with that, uh, but there's a sneaking, sneaky type of energy here that you're trying to um, overcome during your manifestation, um, but then I feel like this new connection comes in where it helps you move forward, and then you have the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like something that you've wished for is coming towards you, okay? Um, but overall, looking really good. I think it's just, you look know, like at the Ace of Wands there too. Hangman, looking at things at different perspective. Ace of Wands, new passion of beginning. So maybe just a roller coaster month here for you, Leo, but um, you, you're coming out pretty strong here. Just a, a minor minor thing that you sniff out and maybe just kind of pulls you back here from whatever you're trying to manifest. And it's just the devil, uh, you know, being jealous. People are jealous. When people are jealous, they come in and they try to, um, you know, mess you up here, right? So that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing. But that's about it, Leo. That's kind of what I see. It's just a general march. Um, I will be coming out with weekly so I can kind of see the energy a little bit more in depth here. But, um, but I do see you moving forward into something new. New connection. I do see opportunities coming towards you. Oh, let me, let me clarify that real quick. Because I do see new opportunities coming towards you. Let's see what that's all about. The Emperor again. You could be in the Queen of Pentacles. Son of a gun. So you could be um, first. And then you have the, the Moon again. But then also we have the New Moon in Pisces. And then we... Okay, so we have a Six of Pentacles at the bottom, which tells me you could be getting a, um, you know, something that is a new opportunity for you that's an equal, uh, you know, like if you're putting in enough work into something and you don't feel like you're, you know, you feel like you're underpaid, I feel like someone's coming towards you like a boss or someone that's a business owner with the emperor, um, coming in with the, with an opportunity for some of you guys. Um, yeah, things are going to balance out. We have justice as well. So financially, I think things are coming in for you. Um, if you are looking for a job that is coming in, if you um, are currently working and looking for something else, I just feel like there's going to be a, an opportunity here that, that kind of kicks up your finances, something that you've been wanting, um, which leads towards some sort of stability here for you. But I feel like this new connection is, is going to be a factor with this growth if that makes sense. This new connection is going to be a factor with this new growth. So I don't know if you meet this person at a work situation or a new job or something like that, but um, with the emperor, the queen of uh, pentacles, and the queen of wands being you, I feel like we have a few people here that have their eye on you and they want to approach you with an opportunity. So, and you can see knight of pentacles, the guy is walking away. Um, you know, he's walking away here with um, opportunities chasing him and I feel like this opportunity that's coming towards you and around March maybe mid or end March I feel like that um, that's gonna be a nice one for you something that's gonna grow into something very nice okay so that is what I see here for you Leo let me get you guys a Oracle and um, it's the sacred sea Oracle here and we'll close it out and be sure to hit the like subscribe if you have not already what we got going on for Leo on the card here? The Sea Queen. Command self-resilience. Let's see here. Number 20. Kundalini. 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 Son of a gun. Come on, Neil. All right. Let's see. Kundalini. You see how I paused there for a second? I had to process what the name was. Anyway. No editing around here. All right. Let's see what this is all about. It's a nice card, though. Um, so command of self-resilience. I hold within my own infinite healing capabilities. It is my responsibility to own, claim, and co-create the resilient power I desire to hold and share with others. I came to Earth to know my power my life force energy, and to use it for the highest good of myself and others. And so I do, and so I do, that's where it ends, all right. Um, so that is your card, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Once again, hit the like, subscribe if you have not already, and uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.